Everyone expected Tesla's cheapest car to cut corners. Instead, they spent millions engineering the SEAT, not the battery, not the screens, the seat. For $25,000, you're getting aerospace-grade ergonomics that NASA uses, designed specifically for bodies over 50. While competitors chase younger buyers, Tesla just declared war on Toyota and Honda's biggest strength, comfort for aging drivers. The question is, did they just unlock a $2 trillion senior market everyone ignored? Let's dive right in. So why would Tesla throw millions at a car seat when everyone else is racing toward autonomous driving? The answer started with a single data report that changed everything. In late 2024, Tesla analyzed 50,000 Model 3 Highland owners over age 60-43% reported chronic back pain after two-hour drives. 67% struggled with entry and exit. These weren't budget buyers. They were retired professionals with money to spend, quietly returning to Toyota Camrys. When executives saw this, they realized the industry had been solving the wrong problem. Everyone obsessed over zero to 60 times while missing something fundamental. For America's fastest growing demographic, comfort is the deciding factor. What followed was a 14-month program consuming $180 million. Tesla's goal? Engineer a seat superior to $90,000 luxury sedans, then mass-produce it for $25,000. The breakthrough came from NASA. Instead of benchmarking cars, engineers studied spacecraft seating where improper support causes serious medical issues. They brought in 200 drivers aged 55 to 75 for pressure mapping tests. 24 sensors tracked every contact point during four-hour sessions. The data was shocking. Traditional compact seats create pressure hotspots of 15 to 22 PSI on the lower spine. After 90 minutes, blood circulation drops 34%. This explains why road trips become painful as we age. Tesla developed dual-density foam adapted from SpaceX crew seats. The top layer conforms to your body in 12 seconds. Below sits aerospace-grade foam distributing weight across 40% more surface area. Results? Pressure hotspots dropped to 8 to 11 PS. A vibration transmission fell from 0.47 G to 0.28 G, a 40% reduction. Here's where vertical integration matters. Mercedes pays $2,400 per seat for similar foam through traditional supply chains. Tesla's cost? $340. Same quality. No markup inefficiencies, but foam couldn't solve getting into the vehicle. Tesla focused on step-in height. The vertical distance your body travels entering sports cars measure 280 to 320 millimeters, forcing you down. Crossovers require 520 to 580 millimeters, stepping up. Biomechanical research shows the sweet spot for aging joints is 460 to 500 millimeters. Matching a dining chair your body knows instinctively, Tesla set the Model 2 at exactly 480 millimeters without making it a crossover. The battery sits lower. The floor uses strategic sculpting sleek sedan exterior. Effortless entry experience. The seat's side bolsters compress 15 millimeters when you apply weight during entry. It opens to receive you, then firms for lateral support. Mazda pioneered this in the CX-30 as premium. Tesla made it standard at half the price door angle matters too. Most cars open 55 to 58 degrees because it's cheaper to manufacture. Tesla's six-month biomechanical study identified 65 degrees as optimal for limited mobility. Those extra 7 to 10 degrees create 23% more entry space 
and change how your leg pivots into the cabin. The door hinges use spring assist mechanisms from aerospace cargo bays, reducing opening force by 38%. One 72-year-old tester said it felt like the car was helping her. Once seated, 24 pressure sensors sample your position 60 times per second. Over two to three weeks, onboard AI learns your sitting patterns, city driving versus highway cruising. Then, it makes micro-adjustments you never notice. After 500 miles, the seat feels custom-molded to your spine. Tesla says data processing stays local with encrypted storage. But if AI learns seating this precisely, what else is it analyzing? The four-way adjustable lumbar support comes standard on every Model 2, even the $25,000 base version. Most cars under $40,000 have zero adjustable lumbar Tesla, offers 64 position combinations, because a 5'4 woman needs support 2 inches lower than a 6'2 man. Active ventilation applies Formula One technology. Eight independent climate zones target lower back, upper back, and thighs based on temperature sensors. The system uses 30% less power than conventional designs. Arizona testing showed 45% less perspiration. Cloud-connected memory stores, seat position, steering wheel, and mirrors linked to your phone. Unlock any Model 2 and everything adjusts in two seconds. What Tesla doesn't advertise loudly, this data could prove valuable for insurance models and healthcare research. Terms of service remain vague on secondary usage. Rear seats got equal attention. Tesla's data shows 40% of Model 3 miles involve rear passengers through ride-sharing or family use. Back seats use the same dual-density foam and vibration dampening. The backrest angles 3 degrees more than Model 3, improving thigh support 31%. The armrest includes two 45-watt USB-C ports, laptop-grade charging, in a $25,000 car, while $50,000 luxury models still use 12-watt USB-A. The vegan leather is 30% more durable and 60% bio-based from agricultural waste manufacturing runs on solar power in Texas. For seniors considering environmental legacy, this matters. Testing simulating 100,000 miles shows no cracking or degradation, which raises the uncomfortable question. If Tesla engineered this for $25,000, why haven't Toyota and Honda done it first? They have decades of expertise and bigger budgets. The answer? They weren't trying to solve this problem. The industry optimized for buyers aged 25 to 45 for decades. Seniors were an afterthought, then demographics shifted. By 2030, adults over 60 will control 70% of U.S. disposable income. They're healthier, and driving longer than any previous generation, Tesla saw this wave coming and built the Model 2 to meet it head-on. So here's what this really means. Tesla didn't just design a comfortable car for seniors, they identified a $2 trillion market segment every automaker ignored and built a vehicle that redefines what affordable can deliver. While competitors chase Gen Z with flashy screens, Tesla's betting that the generation controlling 70% of America's wealth wants something different, respect for their bodies and intelligence in design. This is exactly why the Model 2 might be Tesla's most strategic move yet. Not the fastest, not the longest range, but the one that converts the last holdouts still clinging to gas-powered Camrys. And this is just the beginning. If aerospace engineering can transform a $25,000 seat, what happens when Tesla applies this thinking to the Cybertruck? The next Roadster? The implications reach far beyond one vehicle. We're watching the entire industry's design priorities shift in real time. Here's my question for you. 
Will traditional automakers respond with their own comfort-first EVs? Or did Tesla just lock up this demographic for the next decade? Drop your thoughts below. This is Tech Revolution, and we break down the moves that actually matter. If you want more analysis that connects the dots others miss, you know where to find us. The future isn't just electric. It's human-centered, and that changes everything. The $11,555 Tesla Model 2 isn't just a new car. It's Elon Musk's bold move to rebuild how America makes things. Behind the shocking price lies a silent revolution in U.S. manufacturing. Modular factories, AI-driven production, and the return of Made in America pride. Could this tiny EV quietly change the nation's economy forever? Let's dive right in. When Elon Musk announced the $11,555 Tesla Model 2, many dismissed it as another wild promise. A cheap Tesla? In this economy? It sounded impossible. Yet behind the silence, something extraordinary is taking shape. A quiet industrial revolution that could rewrite what Made in America means. Because this isn't just about building a cheaper car, it's about rebuilding the entire American manufacturing system from the ground up. For decades, American factories have been dying slow deaths. The heartlands that once powered the world with steel and engines have turned into ghost towns, while production fled overseas in search of cheap labor. But Tesla is doing something different. Not bringing those jobs back as they were, but reinventing what a factory is. The Model 2 is not a car designed to fit into an existing plant. It's a car that defines the plant itself. Every decision, every bolt, every curve has been shaped around a single idea. Efficiency born from intelligence. Traditional car factories look like a never-ending river. One car frame after another slowly moving from welding to painting to wiring, one step at a time. But what if you stopped treating cars like a single object and started treating them like modular systems? That's the question Tesla dared to ask, and it led to what they now call unboxed manufacturing. Instead of building the car as one unit, Tesla splits it into large sections, front, rear, floor, sides, each assembled in parallel. It's like building multiple cars at once and then snapping them together in a final integration stage. This simple shift changes everything. It doesn't just make the process faster. It changes the math of manufacturing itself. A traditional car takes about 30 hours of labor to complete. The Model 2 will need about 15. That difference isn't a small gain. It's a leap. Half the labor, half the floor space, half the factory cost. And when you're talking about producing 2 million cars a year, that difference becomes world-shaking. What once required billion-dollar gigafactories can now be achieved in smaller, smarter facilities that cost a fraction to build and run. That's how an $11,555 Tesla becomes possible without sacrificing quality or profit. It's not about cutting corners. It's about cutting the waste that everyone else accepted as inevitable. Tesla is teaching the world a lesson. Efficiency isn't about working harder. It's about designing smarter. And that design goes far beyond the production line. Every aspect of the Model 2, from its wiring harness to its body panels, has been engineered for local modular assembly. That means a Model 2 built in Texas can be manufactured by Texans for Texans. No more cross-country shipping. No more hidden costs buried in logistics. When $1,000 of transportation cost disappears, it doesn't just make production cheaper. It makes ownership more accessible. This is where the story gets personal. Because